Welcome back, everyone. We are finally out of that fucking awful cave. Is that a puffin? We are a lot further north than I thought if we're seeing puffins, aren't we? Hi, everybody. This is Editing Jake. After seeing that puffin again, I was like, you know, where the fuck do puffins live? And for those of you who don't know, this is a puffin. Alright? They live all over this turf right here. So, actually, it is very appropriate to be seeing dozens of them all the fuck over here. Because, like, uh, contrary to what I thought, which was they were just penguins that flew. Um, they're, they're actually just a, like a cold weather type of waterfowl. So, yeah. That just looks like a whole ass penguin. Hello. Oh no, that's a madam. Uh, I think I no found guy. A comb. Wait. This is a jawbone. Bro, I already, I already plowed her. You, you do not need to keep looking. <laughs> Jesus, calm down. I'm just breaking rocks. Let us real quick look at the new weapon I got. So I've got this guy, bear claw, superior bearded axe. You rare. I've got the Ursine Guard. Ooh, tattered sheet. And then I've got Fafnir's Spear. That's a very narrow range. I mean, I get it, it's a spear, but like... Just seems. I like how all the weapons shrink when you put them on your bag. Like handles will shrink and shit. No, we're we're still going with the big boy. So Ivan is asleep on his watch. That would explain some things. I thought he was dead. Ivan, wake up! Are the first time I came across this guy, I thought he was dead. Must stay awake. Be anywhere. Is he walking in his sleep? They are everywhere. If we die, everyone dies. Must. Not fall asleep. Need to see them coming. Ivan, wake up! You're headed for the edge! The... Hmm. Is Go he going to him? ride the rope slide? Windy. Storm coming. <laughs> Ivan! Ivan! Calm down! You are asleep! No! I, I was flying through the air! In your sleep, a harsh- Since my posting here. When I am in bed, I worry about ways we could be attacked. When I'm on watch, I cannot stay awake! Only a fool stays awake all night worrying. You're tired when you get up, and the problem is still not solved. You speak with the wisdom of Odin, Eivor. I will think on these words when I am in bed. Consider them on your watch and sleep when you're in bed. But now, report back before you label the deserter. Go. Dumbass. A tired mind thinks only of more problems. <laughs> That's your house. Hush. I need silence to hear the songs of nature. 
Hamuram. Hamuram. Svala. She gives praises and she is greeted. For your hearing, I hearken. O oh, ancient ones, great Odin, great Freya, I give you thanks for your gift of Seder. She gives thanks and she is blessed. Eivor, it has been some time. What brings you so far to see me? I... I have come for your advice. ...on a private matter. Come. Is your mother well? Her mind is a jumble. She speaks to spirits. I fear her final winter has come. But she has me. Now... ...let her speak to your needs. I... ...have had a vision. A powerful vision. It may have been my battle lost. ...or a delirium caused by the cold, but... Describe it for me. After 17 years, I saw my father's axe again. And when I touched it... ...the vision came on fast. There was a wolf... ...howling and fierce. And then a figure. A grey beard... ...in a cloak... ...with a single eye. He bit me follow him. I don't know how he knew it had a single eye. I, I looked at that face and I calls to you. I couldn't tell that. Perhaps he means to speak with you, deliver a message. And I have one eye. You Only think I'd know my kind. Will you see more clearly and unravel the threats that sit tangled upon your mind? This will not take long. Whatever happens. Whatever I see, whatever you foretell, it must stay between us. We cannot change the fate we are bound to. Love you too. What matter who knows and who does not? The outcome will be the same. It matters to me. Drink. If you seek true understanding. Oh, going down. Bleh. <laughs> I've I've had some strong drinks there too, uh, uh, Aver. I know what it's like. Or Avor. Iver. I saw nothing, Volka. Felt nothing. Harvey! Harvey! Who is Skull? Among the dead. Sigurd. Sigurd! Brother, when did you arrive? Although, I'm pretty sure in this world they're called like the Norn or the Nornir. But they're essentially the same thing Weavers of Fate. There's three of them, and I believe they go a young girl, uh, a mother, and a grandma. Pretty sure that's their three forms. Of course, that could also be the Morrigan. I get those mixed up a lot. Big ass gates. Ah! Is good? Uh. Brother! What is this? There was no other way, Harvey. Our fates are fixed. Sigurd! 
That's his right arm. That's his sword arm. Sigurd! What has... what has happened? This was not for you, Javi. I am here. Gods, I thought I... What was that? Tell me everything. I, I, I was on a mountain, in a, in a violent blizzard, climbing toward the summit, following a, a wolf. Mm -hmm. I saw Odin and the Nornir spinning the threads of fate. They were watching me. Mm, not watching. They were showing you the way forward. Your life, your path, what lies before you, and where it ends. And the wolf was eager for my attention, as if it were beckoning me to follow. You are the wolf kissed, fated to carry its mark for life. In this case, it might represent your ambition, or your fear. I saw the gates to Odin's Hall of Slain Champions. They opened for me. Shades of Valhalla, for which you are destined. I do not know what else to say. My, my memories are faint, hazy. Did you reach the summit of this mountain? I did, yes. Sigurd was there, wounded, in pain. His fighting arm was missing. Then the wolf reappeared. The size of a dragon, twisted and terrible. It fixed its eyes on me and struck. Then I awoke. The gods favor you, Eivor. They always have. You will have your glory, and you will earn your place in Valhalla. But these portents carry a darker truth. The missing arm, the trail of blood, the beast. You will betray your brother, Sigurd. That is the meaning of your vision. That cannot be right. I would never betray Sigurd. He's my brother, my family. The Nordnir have spoken, and this is their message. No, this is wrong. Oh, you misunderstand. That cannot be right. You will betray Sigurd. Odin fought against his fate. It can be done. I don't think that's what it means. You bitch. I don't, I don't think that's the purpose here. No, she does not look good. Oh, oh. Oh, I was gonna bring her uh, that that snowdrop or whatever. Anyhow, I I think. See, later on, your character is referenced as Sigurd's right hand by, uh, by some characters we meet soon. That that's how Sigurd refers to you, as his right hand. And the fact that Sigurd is now missing his right hand, well, at least he's missing it in the vision, I think that... We don't betray Sigurd. I think that Sigurd casts us out instead. You know, like if your right hand should betray you, cut it off. Or if it should tempt you to do something, cut it off. I think Sigurd just kicks us out of his life. Not necessarily betrays us. But it could also be that he does it to protect us. That he he cuts us out of his life to protect us. You know, maybe the the bad guy that that Kilvar the Crueler, whatever, 
you know, he's coming after us, and he, he's like, give me the boy, and everything's fine. You know, give me Ivor, and everything will be forgiven. And he's like, nope, Ivor's not one of my men anymore. Uh, Ivor doesn't work for me anymore. They must be finished now. The king has called for his best mead, so the talks are concluded. I'm right. ready to face the... Excellent, King Stubior. I will take this proposal to my nephew. I believe he will see the wisdom in it. Good. It is all I can hope for. May the... What's up? May the winds favor your voyage, Guthormer. Eivor, come forward and explain in plain words why you have willfully disobeyed my commands. Do you mock me? I do not mock you, King. I mean to embolden you against your enemies and your own poor judgment. You know nothing of my judgment. You know nothing of my plans and strategies. Sigurd would agree with me. My son might agree with you, but he would obey me. He knows his place. Not as well as he knows his father. Imagine you are harassed by an enemy with warriors that vastly outnumber your own. What profit does open war bring? Would it not be better to work quietly through diplomacy, gaining alliances? Waiting until the day our numbers outweigh our enemies and our victory is guaranteed. The king makes a lot of sense. Kyotr and his clan will never negotiate with us. They speak the language of war, so we must answer back. I have waited a lifetime to take back the honor that Kyotr took from my family. Now is the time to act! My time to Are act! Are you so blinded by vengeance that you cannot see beyond your nose? Is that all? I'm at a loss with you, Eivor. When I took you in as my own, Never did I imagine such disrespect from the child of Varin. Your father was a fine man. Just and loyal to me, he died bravely so that we might live. He died a coward, Lord. A fate I will not mirror. Why do you carry such a useless burden? Let it go! Think only of the days to come, of your future and the victories at hand. My honor has been stained until it's wiped clean. I want nothing else. I refuse to pick at that wound again. But if there is something that can chase these shadows from your thoughts... Sigurd has come! Down at the docks, his ship is here! Woohoo! Alright. And I am going to cut this one here. This might be a shorter episode, I know, but... Uh, my wife has left. The child is unattended and probably destroying my house. No? Okay. I can't save right now. Never mind. Hey, hey, careful with that one. Avon! Sigurd! <laughs> oh, look at you, blood-soaked drinker! Oh, have you been warring without me? Oh, and you, salt-cured Vikinger! I smell the stink of a dozen kingdoms in your beard. It's <laughs> just the start. Randvi, my dear wife, your husband returns. Bringing gifts and riches to share. And new friends, I see. Yes! Basim and Hytham. We met in Miklagat, and they show me Assassins. her buried secrets. We are grateful to Sigurd for his invitation, and eager to pay tribute to your king. My brother is always very careful with the company he keeps. If you're standing safely beside him, he must like you. Ah, Eivor. Save the introductions until our bellies are full. I will see my father. Tell him of my time away. This morning we traded with a ship passing south. 
They told us Eivor the wolf. I like was the giant sword he has on man. his back. They must have I cut the tail one. short. I killed my captors and recovered my crew. And for that, your father scolded me. You know where I stand, brother. Nothing short of war will dislodge Kjotve from our lands. But he disagrees. I know. I know. Father thinks too much and acts too little. Today that changes. I promise you. By the winter's end, the name Kurt with the crew will be a curse on the lips of a drunken fool. My son! Welcome home! Ah, oh, father. Tonight we feast and celebrate your return, Sigurd. The tables are laid with barley and lamb, bread and mead. And no more, I beg you. I want nothing you would not serve a thrall. Let me be the one to honor you. I bring gifts and tales from faraway lands. After two winters away, I am full up with both. Very well, very well. Come inside. And when we are fat and satisfied, father, we will talk of Kjotve and his clan, and how we may end their terror. Once and for all. He has dogged us too long. Shamed us for too many seasons. I know this. Eivor knows this. It ends now. Yes, of course. When the time is right. He's still nervous to go into full-on war. Through Rusland we barreled down the Volga River. Raiding as we went. Shadowy tribes hurling spears at our ship. But Miklagard... We saw men bedecked in riches as vibrant as the Biverest itself. And these we took for our troubles, of course. We sailed to Rome, then Africa, past oceans of sand, warriors of all colors, and beauty the eyes must weep to behold. And now I have returned, with riches and glory to share with my family, my friends, my eyes for Strengir. So take what you desire from my horn. For this, this is only a taste of things to come. Tomorrow, the Raven Clan starts anew. Skull, Sigurd. Skull! And you, Eivor, come. I have something special for you. Now can I save it? Yes. Okay. We'll get into all that another time. I'll see you guys later.